Currently inside of the 2015 Jeep Wrangler Sport Unlimited. Let's take a look at what we have on the inside. This is the interior of the vehicle. We have the steering wheel controls here on the actual wheel. We have automatic cruise control. And then on the left side, you can see there we have Bluetooth controls. Uh, there's voice recognition controls. There's the phone. You have menu options, you have your compass options and the vehicle settings options. How much gas you have, how much mileage you have, um, fuel to empty, your tire pressure, your oil pressure, uh, so on and so forth. There we have our uh, phone holder. And then if we take a look at the center console here, as you can see, um, we opted for the basic radio, but it does have Bluetooth. Sirius XM radio, AM, FM, satellite. You have your aux, which is your auxiliary cable there. Um, CD, one CD, voice recognition button, telephone button, info, so on and so forth. These are your window controls and your uh, rear back locking controls. These are the air vents. Then we have our uh, air temperature controls or HVAC. Uh, this button is to operate your rear view mirrors. You have your heel descent. Use that when the roads are icy. 12 volt charger. This is the gear shifters. So park, reverse, neutral, drive. This handle here is to shift from two wheel drive to four wheel drive. So you have to do that while you are uh, parked. If you do that while you're driving, you will jack something up on the inside. And then we have our vents here on the sides, both sides. This is a look at the rear view seats, or the rear seats rather. We'll fold these down. We have our subwoofer here because this is the base model Jeep Jeep Wrangler Sport, so it did not come with the subwoofer. So we bought and bought one from. Amazon for about 120 something bucks. We'll have the control for it in the front. Both sides do actually fold down. That is the Jeep roof, so many times you'll see different people or many YouTubers really in their vehicles and you see they have a white roof. They're probably in the Jeep Wrangler. Got your uh, roll bars up here to protect you if you ever decide to roll over. These are speakers up there. These are screws to uh, help you assist in taking the roof off. An additional speaker. Uh, these are Vicky's cup holders that are currently being occupied by Gigi's uh, food cup when she goes to daycare. And some mailing tape. Awesome. You also have your window controls right there for the roof. And then this is your door. All of the doors are fully removable. They're just secured by those bolts there, which is why you kind of really got to slam a Jeep door. The exterior, if you could take a look here, these are 20 inch, eight, uh, 20 inch XD Rockstar wheels with uh, the all-terrain Cooper tires. So the 275-60R20 remains this 275-60 20 inch wheels, all-terrain uh, trek there so they're really good in the snow we got this aftermarket Jeep uh, gas cap pretty simple tail lights uh, there there's just two screws right here you just unscrew those and then you can put whatever tail lights you want so we got these smoked out LED tail lights Vicky got a little Texas emblem that is uh, currently decaying from the various weather conditions here in the Chicago land area. The next line of business is to get new uh, fenders. You can uh, take those off. Uh, if
it's a simple process, but you know, with the Jeep, you will need help. The Jeeps are the, one of the most customizable vehicles you can buy, which is why a lot of people get them. Same thing with the Jeep grill. It's just a plastic grill that is uh, coated with paint. You can get this, you can take this off. We did, uh, my father and laws we did it within like 20 minutes. So, yeah, here's the rear. Plenty of room. We've had many runs to Ikea and we fit multiple large items in the back. For those of you that are wondering, it's a great family vehicle. Um, very safe. We haven't had any major issues with it. Uh, only thing we've ever had to do serious to the vehicle is take it in for oil change every uh, 3,000 or 6,000 miles, depending on how much you drive it. Vicky doesn't drive that often, so it's every 6,000 miles for us. They treat us really good, treat us really nice. But yeah, as you can see the label there, this is the Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sport. Hey guys, so I really quickly wanted to just touch on a few things that I feel like Cameron didn't really mention, um, just giving my experience overall with my Jeep. Um, first of all, I love my Jeep. Well, her name is Nikita. I named her Nikita after my one of my favorite shows. I love it. I've always wanted a Jeep. It's my dream car. So I feel like this was a great investment for me. A lot of people ask me about pricing and um, how much it costs and if I think it was worth the money. Um, I do think the Jeep is worth the money. However, um, it depends on your budget, what you want in a car. And it also depends on your credit worthiness and um, what kind of loan you get for your car and all of that for the most part jeeps are around at least the jeep wrangler unlimited which is the four-door jeep um is they usually run around 30 to forty thousand dollars depending on your area depending on a lot of different factors like i said it's not necessarily a luxury car so you aren't having to pay those luxury prices for maintenance for gas um, upkeep and things of that nature. I feel like the price was well worth it just because I haven't had any issues with it. I haven't had to take it in for maintenance other than an oil change. And the gas is not that bad. Um, I live in Illinois, so my gas is a little more expensive. We're getting closer to $3 per gallon right now. But because she takes regular unleaded, usually I only have to spend between $40 and $50 to fill her up. However, I don't drive as much as Cam does. Cam drives an hour to work, so he has a fuel efficient vehicle. Um, I don't feel like I need a fuel efficient vehicle just because I don't drive as much as he does um, and I only go like to the store and back for the most part if I do drive anywhere far it's to Chicago but that's maybe like once or twice a month so I don't necessarily do a ton of driving to where I feel like I needed a fuel efficient vehicle for me I feel like what I really wanted the Jeep for other than just the looks and having that you know cool rugged off-road feel basically when i moved here from texas i had a hyundai i had a hyundai accent it was a very small fuel efficient car um and that was perfect for me back when i used to drive a lot and um i was always on the go but the weather is different here i needed something that was all terrain so i needed a car that was a bit heavier um that could drive through snow ice inclement weather conditions the jeep is definitely perfect for that you can drive a jeep in any type of weather in snow, sleet, ice, sand, dirt, mud, water. You can drive a Jeep pretty much through anything. Jeeps were made originally for military grade type maneuvering. So obviously it is able to withstand a lot of different um, weather conditions that most cars can't make it through. It's completely customizable, like he said, so you can take everything apart. I have not taken it completely apart yet, but the only thing about that is if it rains or if the weather gets cooler, you can't put the top back on unless you have like two or three people to help you. I love the fact that you can completely customize everything on the Jeep. You can change the fenders, you can change the grill, you can change the lights, you can add on lights. We got the base model so that we didn't have to pay for everything outright. Um, we paid for the most basic model of the Jeep Wrangler Unlimited that we could get and then we add on over time so if I did ever want to upgrade the inside I could if I wanted to upgrade the lighting I could and then another reason why I really love my Jeep is the community I love the community that we're in I love how when I'm driving down the street and I see another Jeep I can wave at them and they'll wave back at me like I love that definitely love my Jeep family um, and I definitely love seeing other Jeeps out and like how they've customized them and how they've made them their own I really feel like it's like a really fun car it's like buying a toy almost because you can do so much to it 
Um, but like I said, there's no issues. I haven't had any issues with it at all. The only maintenance I ever have to put into the car is getting an oil change, which is about a hundred dollars, I think. How much is an oil change? The only other thing we've done um, that need that where it needed a little bit of work was putting on the wheels, and I've loved them ever since then. They're definitely a lot better um, for driving in snow and inclement weather conditions. I was able to get up a hill that was covered in snow. So I mean, that's a big deal to me. Um, like Cam said, it is a family vehicle. So for me, it's perfect for when my family comes to visit, when we take our friends out, or if we go places and pick up people, we have a lot of space. Um, and also when we are transporting large items, we have been able to let the seats down and get a whole entertainment center. Um, everything that I've ever bought from Ikea has been able to fit in that truck. So definitely worth it for that. Um, purpose as well if you are somebody who likes to move a lot of things around you know I have enough heftiness to where I'm not going too fast because I am heavy footed um, I don't feel like it's shaky I don't feel like it's gonna flip over a lot of people say the Jeeps flip over easy I, I don't feel like I ever am losing control of my car or anything like that I definitely feel like it's sturdy enough to where it's not gonna go anywhere it is rugged but it also has normal car function so i do have bluetooth i do have the ability to talk hands-free on my phone so if somebody calls me i can answer the phone with my car and speak into my car and i can hear them but if i'm listening to music on my phone i can definitely change that and control it with my um steering wheel so i feel like even though i do have that ruggedness it's definitely not completely manual everything is not manual in the car you have all of your electronic functions as well so um and if you do get an upgraded package when you do get your car where you can get the navigation and everything like that it's even more bougie so depends on how bougie you are we wanted to start off small and simple so we got it the simplest we could but i mean if you wanted to add on later you definitely could and i'm just i'm overall very very satisfied with it like i said i've had it for two years and haven't had any problems out of it i have no complaints at all no complaints uh, I probably won't get another truck until I can afford a G-Wagon. And even when I can get a G-Wagon, I'm keeping my Jeep because that's my baby. I'm gonna pass her down to my children. Like she, she is with me forever, okay? This was my dream car, so I'm super excited about it. Um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Please leave your questions in the comments and I will try to answer them as best as possible. Everything that you saw in the car that we added on, so like the lights, um, the handlebars, the um, car mounts that I use, all that stuff, I will put all that in the description box so that you guys can check out those links. Also, if you guys wanted to know what hair this is, this is the hair that I was featured in the music video that I did for this for this car video. I didn't mean to do a whole music video. I meant to just do an intro, but I got carried away because I mean, I love my Jeep. Um, if you need links to this hair, um, my makeup, everything is Fenty, of course, but I'll put a link to that as well. Other than that, I will see you guys in my next video.